Hello and welcome to the 63rd tutorial in the Cocos 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at scene transitions. We'll be using the source code from the 62nd tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2D JS provides us with great functionality for creating and switching scenes, but till now the transitions between scenes have been instant and static. But fortunately for us, Cocos 2D JS has built in functionality to rectify this in the form of transitions. Uh, in the in this tutorial, we will only cover a few transitions, but more information can be found in the Cocos 2D JS API guide. There are so many transitions; it's unbelievable. Uh, so it's just not really practical to cover them um, because we rather cover other topics and just show you how to do it and where you can go from here. So let's go ahead and open up our app.js, and it it is really easy to do a scene transition where you basically run or push scene. You can only do with this run. You can only do this when you're pushing a scene onto the stack or replacing a scene. Popping a scene because you don't specify a scene, you can't do this. So what you do, let's get rid of this temporarily. You do new cc dot transition, and we're going to do the fade transition. This is the first one we're going to show you. And in here, it takes two parameters: how long you want it to take and the scene that you want it to transition to. So it's going to be scene. This right here, you could put in a variable if you want to, just like we've put the scene code inside a variable, so you could have a variable called transition. I can do that as an extra task uh, once you've done this. See if you can get that working. It shouldn't be too difficult. So let's go ahead and run this. So if we open up terminal, cd to our project directory, run the project. Okay, when I click push, as you can see, it faded. So let's go back and I change this to three seconds so you can see it a little better. Push, as you can see, it faded between the two scenes. And what we're going to do is now show you a different transition. Just copy and paste this comment at the first one. So also say fade transition. The next transition that we're going to be covering is the jump and zoom transition. There are really weird and wacky transitions that are offered by Google Studio JS. I would recommend just using simple ones like fade or flip, but check out the uh, different ones they offer because depending on your game different transitions will suit it so let's go ahead we have got to change this transition fade to transition jump zoom takes three parameters how long you want it to take and which scene you want it to transition to so if we go back to our web browser this is a weird one <laughs> it zooms out jumps out the other one jumps in then zooms back in it's yeah, it is really weird. So the final one that we're going to be looking at, copy and paste this, is the zoom and flip transition. And for this, you literally just change this to transition zoom flip, uh, and you specify the axis. So I'm going to put y, and we're going. To yeah, we'll leave this at three seconds and then we can change if we want to. Refresh our browser, click push. As you can see, it flipped. This sort of transition is, is quite subtle compared to the jumping and zooming one, like the fade transition as well. Fade transition is something that we use a lot. We think it's subtle, but it gets the job done. There are a load of transitions that are provided by Cocos 2 djs uh, like we mentioned earlier in this tutorial. You can learn more about them from the Cocos 2 djs API guide. The next tutorial will cover node action animations. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.